Hi, we are going to be talking about um, is your husband mama's boy? That's what we will talk about today. I am sure you must have noticed umpty number of times in your married life that there are those moments, there are those situations when you want your husband to take a stand in your favor, but you realize that he has taken the stand in his mother's favor. You believe, you know that your stand was right or you were right and the other side it was wrong or say not right uh, still the you know his inclination was towards his mother and not you and then it hurts when it happens time and again right and then it is very very natural for us to conclude that he is a mama's boy and there can't be anything more disgusting than knowing that your husband is always inclined towards his mother. Before I get into what those strategies are in which you can through which you can deal with this, let me just very briefly tell you why this happens. Most most of the time the reason is that his parents did not get along well enough. Okay? So he saw his you know that that kind of a turmoil between his mother and father now as far as his mother's emotional needs are concerned she started to satisfy her emotional needs through her children which means through your husband even when he was a little boy she started to depend on him to satisfy his emotional needs she did not realize that that she was depend she was you know getting dependent on him for her emotional satisfaction as far as that little boy is concerned who's now your husband he starts to believe that this is how normal relationship between mother and child is that it is his responsibility to satisfy the needs emotional needs of his mother so he grows up satisfying the emotional needs of his mother now there comes a time when it's time for him to get married now when he gets married he continues to believe that satisfying the emotional needs of his mother remain his prime responsibility and he continues to do that therefore you tend to feel that he is inclined towards his mother which is true because he is uh, more uh, inclined towards satisfying her needs okay and as far as mother is concerned she after marriage you know she feels very insecure why because now in her subconscious mind is the fear that until the son got married he was all hers he was satisfying all the emotional needs of her but after marriage she fears that now he is going to be taking care of his wife which is you now she is feeling so insecure that she unconsciously unknowingly she pulls him towards her own self to ensure that she is always satis- he is always satisfying her emotional needs right so while the inclination is already towards her she also starts to pull therefore the pull for your man is very heavy towards his mother at the same time you being a wife very naturally you want him to be with you physically mentally emotionally and that's so right that you want him to be with you so what you do is again unknowingly and unintentionally you also start to pull him towards you because now you are his wife he feels pulled in two directions one towards you and one towards his mother but why does he go towards his mother even though there is equal uh, pull from both the sides why does he get inclined towards her because he knows her very well he knows uh, you know her in every which way in every form so for him that's a zone of comfort even though she might be getting angry with him shouting at him not treating him well whatever it is but that's a comfort zone okay you just got married you might have dated for 4 years 5 years 10 years right but with her he has been there since his birth 
okay so your zone is not as comfortable as compared to his mother's zone therefore when the tussle happens he naturally gets inclined towards the zone that is more comfortable to him so what do you do in that case in that case very important thing you will need to know and practice is let his relationship with his mother be the way it is do not interfere do not interrupt okay number 2 never ever complain to him about his mother do not criticize his mother because if you do that he will not be able to take it he's already emotionally inclined to her and if you if you if you complain against her criticize then he is going to get more inclined towards her as such he is in that direction and the moment you complain the moment you criticize you have unknowingly pushed him away from you towards his mother okay and third thing you will do is whatever time you are together say on dining table or maybe he is dropping you to work uh you get is you got to spend just 5 minutes today it doesn't matter what you will need to do is make those moments beautiful make those moments positive make those moments full of joy full of fun full of laughter does it mean you cannot share your problems you definitely can share your problems but not the criticism not the complaints about the mother and not sharing the problems all the time sometimes those conversations really need to be joyful you could share something about a wonderful childhood experience you had which he doesn't know you could share something about your children which he didn't get to witness uh, today you could share something about your neighbor right so make those conversations so uh, relieving so calming so beautiful that he will automatically be drawn towards you okay so in this podcast we learned why does your husband become mama's boy and what is it that you need to do differently in a positive happy ways that his inclination turns towards you as well so that's it from me to you in today's podcast and i will connect with you in the next one very soon take care bye bye hi my name is parul divan and as a relationship coach i have noticed that when marriage gets into trouble it's the woman who starts to give in a lot in the relationship to the extent that she loses herself sometimes she loses her dignity she sacrifices her career and still she does not get what she is looking for that's the time she feels stuck and some women also start to think whether they should stay in the marriage or should they leave Don't worry I am coming to you with my podcast called From Mates to Soulmates where I am going to tell you how to rediscover yourself and also revive your relationship with your husband and From Mates to Soulmates is not just the podcast it's also the book that I have written uh, which is based on the true story of my client So kuch baaton ka matlab aur kuch matlab ki baatein kya matlab हस्बैंड वाइफ के बीच में जो बातें होती हैं हमें उनका कैसे मतलब निकालना चाहिए कि वो जो एक रिलेशनशिप है वो बहुत ही खूबसूरत बनती चली जाए समय के साथ और कुछ मतलब की बातें भी हम आपके साथ करेंगे स्टे ट्यून टू दिस पॉडकास्ट फ्रॉम मेट्स टू सोलमेट्स एंड आई विल सी यू सुन टेक केयर बाई